With an even round of 72 in the final round last Wednesday, Nickel sophomore golfer Andre Bjornsson earned a top five finish at the Southland Conference Men's Golf Championship in McKinney, Texas, finishing with a score of 226. The program as a whole finished seventh overall with a team score of 948 after shooting a tournament best 311 in the final round. Also in conference tournament action was the Colonel's men's tennis team. Nichols fell 4-2 to the University of New Orleans in the semifinals in Beaumont, Texas on Saturday. Damian Despotowski defeated Rui Silva 4-6, 6-4, 6-2 at number one singles, and All-Southland first team honoree Dmitry Kazianov triumphed over Ricardo Campos 6-love, 6-1 at number two. The Colonels in their season 8-11 overall, Nico Mertens, and Southland Freshman of the Year honors. While those programs wrapped up their season, the Colonel's softball team is coming off of a sweep at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. In Game 1, Saturday at Chapman Field, Nichols outscored the Islanders 4-1, led by Hannah Haydale's five shutout innings. Also on Saturday in Game 2, Ashton Bennett went six innings in the circle and belted her fifth home run of the year, leading Nichols to a 5-2 victory. In an extra inning duel, the Colonels would defeat the Islanders 3-2 in Game 3 on Sunday when Bennett drove in the winning run in the ninth. The Colonels are 22-24 overall and 12-11 in conference. They currently hold the sixth and final spot for postseason action, leading Lamar by a game and a half. Nichols hosts first place McNeese State in a three-game set this weekend to close out the regular season. Well, I know we have to win. I'm pretty sure we have to win at least one against McNeese. So, I mean, if we won the series against them, it, we would definitely be in. We wouldn't have to worry about it. But um, winning one would give us a chance, and we just have to wait to see what everybody else does. The Colonel football team concluded its spring practice on Saturday at John L. Guidry Stadium with its annual spring scrimmage. While last week the defense looked to be in control, this time it was all about the offense, as they scored six touchdowns, which included a 54-yard pass from Bo Hebert to Kerry Fortson that would only be one of three of Hebert's TDs on the day. Uh, I was really glad to see Bo Hebert play well at quarterback. He struggled his first scrimmage, but he really came back and responded well today. We had some big plays, which is something that uh, we missed out on last scrimmage. And that, that was really good for our offense. And our defense had a couple interceptions, which was really good. And um, I think, you know, we got a lot of room to grow. But that, that's how you get better. You just play and you try to, try to get better every time. With interceptions laid by defensive back Jordan Hanbury and linebacker Tyler Harrington, the defense ended the day on a positive note after a rough start. The Colonels will open their season with Fiesta Bowl champion Oregon on August 31st. For the Set Thibodeau Show, I'm Ashley Dufresne.